If you want to be able to host an Unreal Engine multiplayer server and allow people from other networks to connect, you will need to open ports on your network. In this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know in order to do this. If you want to see how you can set up an Unreal Engine multiplayer server in 8 minutes, please consider watching my tutorial on how to create a multiplayer game in Unreal Engine. You can find a link to the tutorial in the description of this video. Before I show you the steps of how to set and open your ports, let me first explain why we need to do this. Ports allow communication between devices. Internet-facing services and applications essentially listen for ports for a connection from the outside to do their jobs. Without ports, communication between hosts over the internet is not possible. It is therefore important that you open your ports on your network so that people will be able to find and connect to your server. If you've ever created a Minecraft server, the way you would go about opening ports will be very similar for Unreal Engine. Only the one hosting the server is required to open ports. The people who are connecting to your server will not have to open ports. They do however need your public IP address if they want to directly connect to your server. Now a lot of people are not really comfortable sharing their public IP address, because if someone with malicious intents gets a hold of it, they can cause harm in a variety of ways. They can for instance find out where you live, get personal information, they can even send DDoS attacks which will make your server lag or even shut down, and in the worst case scenario, if you have an older router with compromising settings, they could even hack into that. So to circumvent these attacks and protect you and your player base, I've created a system called IP Protect. This system will protect you against all direct harm that could come from sharing your public IP address, and the easy to use function nodes allow you to both encrypt and decrypt the public IP address with a key, so no one is able to trace it back to the original address. You can find more information about IP Protect if you look in the video description of this video. You can modify the default ports in the Unreal Engine Editor Preferences menu. If you go to Edit, Editor Preferences, Level Editor, the Play tab, and then scroll down until you find the server port. If you're unable to modify the port, expand the play settings and set the multiplayer option net mode to play as listen server. Reopen the editor preferences menu, and now you should be able to configure the port to your liking. One thing to note is that I changed the port, and only the port range around 7777 worked, so my recommendation would be to leave the port at 7777, or at 17777. Once that you've decided on the port that you want to open, open the command prompt by holding down the Windows key and R, and then start typing cmd and press enter. In here type ipconfig, press enter, and copy the default gateway for your device. It usually starts with 192.168 and ends in either 1.1 or 1.0 or 0.1 or 0.0. In my case it's 1.1. Open your favorite web browser and type the default gateway into the URL. Depending on the router that you're using, the user interface that you see now may be different from mine. Type in your username and password, and then log in. Now you need to locate your port forward section of your router. In the case of my router, it's located in van virtual server slash port forwarding. Here we can add an Unreal Engine port to our device, so that our computer will be able to host an Unreal Engine multiplayer server. Enter your service name. It can be whatever you like, but to keep things simple, I'm going to be typing UEM for Unreal Engine Multiplayer. We do not have to specify our source target, and we can now enter the port range. This should be equal to the Unreal Engine server port you set before. In my case, it will be 7777. We now need to set the local IP at which the port will be open on. My specific router allows me to select a device from a drop-down menu. However, you can easily find out your local IP address from the command prompt we opened up earlier. It should be the same as the host IPv4 address. Finally, we need to set the protocol. Unreal Engine uses UDP as the protocol, but I usually set the protocol to be open for both UDP and TCP, if I decide to implement any plugins that may be using the TCP protocol. Once the protocol has been set, we can apply the port to our network and apply our new settings. You are now able to host an Unreal Engine multiplayer server and allow people to connect from all over the world. Thank you for watching and have a great day.